Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, DNR Realtors. Well, it's been about a month since I've been out here to do this video tour of a Perry home being built in the acreage section of Vintage Oaks. So, it's time for another follow-up tour. Let's go check it out. Well, a few things have changed since I last videoed this house. They've got the roof on. Looks like they're getting ready to put the shingles on it. And they've got some of the exterior wrap going. Looks like they need to do a little bit of touch-up before they finish that portion out. But it's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's a beautiful day in Texas, but it's overcast and it's quite comfortable outside. But a quick tour of what the neighborhood still looks like. We've seen this before, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. But you still have wonderful neighbors here. And of course, the amenity center is right down the road. If you're watching this video for the first time, check out my Vintage Oaks amenities tour. This place is awesome. All right, let's take a closer look at this house. All right, I know the wrap looks kind of bad right here from this angle, but don't worry, they will fix it all up before they finish. Let me see if I can walk up this plank and not die to get in. Yeah, yeah, I didn't die. All right, this is my first look at this house in the current stage. You can definitely tell you're gonna have some tall vaulted roofs. And like I said, the big thing about this house is they're going to have some amazing views on it. I'm not sure what room this is. Might be your formal dining room area here. But you can tell it's starting to come together. Everything will look so much different once they get sheetrock up. But before they do that, they have to do a lot of interior wiring and piping and all that good stuff first. And it has to pass inspection. But, uh, ooh, let's go look at, I'm just gonna walk right through a window to show off this view. All right, the view from the back porch. And I am jealous of you guys being able to sit out here and drink coffee and just enjoy the view out here. Wow, this can be a great view. But this is gonna be a massive back porch. Got four can lighting. You can put a giant ceiling fan up there if you want. But this back porch area is huge. You can tell the builder had to spend some money on this foundation. All right, I'll actually go in through the door. Well, maybe not. Don't want to hit that post. That would be bad, but it's an eight foot door. Kind of just walk around and we'll get a kind of feel for what's going on in here. You see they're starting some electrical pre-wiring. It happens to be a Sunday and I like coming out and doing these type of tours on a Sunday because typically you don't have the workers. All right, this looks like the owner's suite here. Yes, it is. But man, it's hard to tell if that's gonna be a 12 foot or, yeah, probably a 12 foot ceiling up here. with some really tall windows looking out. So you guys are gonna have complete privacy here because no one can see in, but this is gonna be your windows looking out. So this is gonna be one impressive room. There's gonna be a giant bathtub. They've got it kind of framed out. They'll cut the hole and drop the tub in. And wow, look at this shower that's coming in here. You have to, gonna have the big inset shower. This is what it looks like before they do the mud inset. There's your drain in the middle. But man, this shower is gonna be massive and tall. With a big old window right there. Pretty cool. Let's see. This is going to be a good look at what your garage is. We'll just kind of peek through the walls here. 
this is a three car garage. There's your double door. You got another door right there. And looks like a little workspace up uh, straight ahead of me there. This is gonna be a big garage. And this area here, let's see. Oh, here's your closet. Another window here just before you get to the closet. But it's gonna be a good size closet there with two lights. All right, well, I wanted to get upstairs so we can check out the view from up there. This is gonna be your utility room right here. You can see some of the extra ducts there. So if you're doing laundry, you can come right out of your uh, master bedroom and into the utility room. Just gonna give a little look around. This is the great room and man, is it great. That is up there. Get yourself on the little drones that can be flying around inside this space with no problem. Those little small pocket drones. I know, my mind is a little weird and that's, those are things I think about. All right, this looks like, uh, this could be a really nice study or with some tall windows. Let's see what the view looks like from this front window of this big, beautiful tree right there. Kind of cool. With another window from above. It's like they need to clean up the tree a little bit, but that's a great placement for the window. Some, there was some thought going into that. All right, going up the curved stairs. Gonna have a little catwalk here. Right now we've got the view of the door. And then looking down at the main living area. With another, looks like a bedroom with a giant, possibly another giant window right there. Guys, this house is gonna be really impressive. Just making my way through this little hallway here. It's like another upstairs bedroom. A view looking out the front of the house. All right, we do have a bathroom here. would be a closet on this part it's kind of a maze right now all right this they're going to be blocking this area here off and but this is going to give you access to your attic to where eventually you can put two by four I me mean not two by fours but uh more plywood down but you can see what the attic space in here is going to look like and it's going to be big but it's going to have uh your insulation all put in but man, talk about having space to store Christmas decorations up here. And easy access to that. Right now, I'm not seeing how to get over to the space I see in front of me. 
I'm sure there will be a way eventually, but I don't quite see it yet. All right, looks to be another bedroom over here. But still you have tall ceilings in these bedrooms. This is going to be the closet for this bedroom with its own ensuite. With a shower tub combo. And the view from this bedroom window. And kind of neat, they've got little uh, mini windows here just for additional light. It's gonna be a little hard to see out there, but right now my phone's about six inches, above, uh, maybe three or four inches above my eyesight, but you can look out and see some pretty cool views. This will be all walled in right here. I think this is going to be your two-story library or something coming up here. But I still just don't see how to get to that other space. We'll see. All right, let me head back downstairs. All right, I just came down those stairs. We're back in the great room. Here's the fireplace. Just going to check out these few rooms here. And then we'll wrap this tour up. Not sure what this room would be, except for maybe another den or a little living space with, of course, amazing views. And a view out the side of the house. Lots and lots of tall windows in this house. Leading to another room over here so i have to look at the floor plans again to see kind of what these rooms are but it's like i don't know if they're planning to make like a media room or something back here but this would be a nice room just off the great room in front of us but uh yeah this is gonna be cool This is going to be your kitchen area right here. You can see where you're going to have cabinets going all the way around you. This vent there is going to be for where your stove's at. So let me stand where your kitchen island will be. And this is your view of it. A really grand, big, great room. And that's from the kitchen. This is going to be a really cool place. And then this is your entry coming in through the garage area right here. And if you take a right, it looks like this is going to be yet another bedroom back here. Yep. There's a bathroom, a full bath coming in here with a mud set shower. So this would be perfect for a guest bedroom that you wanna keep them off to the side. They're gonna have a nice little mini walk-in closet right up here and still separated from uh, the rest of the house. <clears throat> and if they came in through your three car garage, you won't really even see them. And that space right there would be your dining room breakfast nook area with panoramic views of the trees and the nature around you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this follow-up tour of your house being built in the Vintage Oaks Acreage section by Perry Homes. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to see progress happening on this house. 
and I'm excited for you guys to finally see it in person. So if you're someone else watching this video for the first time and you're looking for a real estate agent that does these special things for you uh, when you're out of the area and having your dream home built, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen and I'll be happy to help you. Feel free to send me a text. And as always, like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.